So this gruesome injury that you just saw on your screen was the exact mechanism of an injury called as the Odonagus unhappy triad. Now what happens in this injury is that there is a valgus force, a flexion force and also the internal rotation of the femur over the tibia and this is commonly seen when there is an athlete running and he gets tackled from the side. And the components of this triad are an ACL injury, an MCL injury and a medial meniscus injury. So let's understand in detail about these three structures. The first one is the ACL that is the anterior cruciate ligament. Now the anterior cruciate ligament attaches on the medial wall of the lateral femoral condyle. It courses anteriorly and medially and attaches on the intercondylar line of the tibia. It mainly provides sagittal stability that is it prevents the tibia from displacing more anteriorly from the femur and the test that is done to look for ACL injury is mainly the Latchman's test and the second test is the anterior drawer test. Now coming to the second structure that is the MCL also called as the medial collateral ligament. The medial collateral ligament attaches from the medial epicondyle of the femur to the medial condyle of the tibia and it provides some kind of coronal stability that is valgus stability. The test that is done to look for MCL injury is the valgus stress test. The third structure is the medial meniscus. The medial meniscus is attached on the medial articular surface of the tibia. It is elliptical in size and also it is larger compared to the lateral meniscus. And one unique feature about the medial meniscus is that it is peripherally attached to the medial collateral ligament and hence it is less mobile and there is high chance of medial meniscus injury. Now the test that we do to look for medial meniscus injury and also for lateral meniscus injury is a test called as McMurray's test. So this was all about the Odonagus unhappy triad. Happy learning.